kids, it's Miss Amber. So this book doesn't exactly have anything a lot to do about light and shadows, except for the fact that um, it does have a moon in it and it's um, called Happy Birthday Moon. Miss Amber found this um, and it is of the same series as the Moon Bear Shadow book that I just made a video of. So I just thought that I'd read this one too. Um, I really like nostalgia from my childhood. And the moon is a source of light, so I thought we could make a connection. So I'll read the book, and then I'll talk about um, how the moon's light is important. So this is Happy Birthday Moon by Frank Ash, and it is in the Moon Bear book series. We have pictures of the moon in different positions in the sky. One night, Bear looked up at the sky and thought, wouldn't it be nice to give the moon a birthday present? But Bear didn't know when Moon's birthday was or what to get him, so he climbed a tall tree to have a little chat with the moon. Hello, moon, he shouted, but the moon did not reply. Maybe I am too far away, thought Bear, and the moon cannot hear me. So Bear paddled across the river and hiked through the forest into the mountains now I am much closer to the moon thought Bear again and he shouted hello this time his own voice echoed off one of the mountains hello Bear got very excited. Oh boy, he thought, I'm talking to the moon. Tell me, asked Bear, when is your birthday? Tell me, when is your birthday? Replied the moon. So is he really talking to the moon or is he really just hearing his own voice and he's talking to himself? Well, it just happens to be that my birthday is tomorrow, said Bear. Well, it just happens that my birthday is tomorrow, said the moon. What do you want for your birthday, asked Bear. What do you want for your birthday, asked the moon. Bear thought for a moment, then he replied, I would like a hat. I would like a hat, said the moon. Oh, good, he thought Bear. Now I know what to get the moon for his birthday. Excuse me. Goodbye, said Bear. Goodbye, said the moon. When Bear got home, he dumped all the money out of his piggy bank. Then he went downtown to the hat store. And he bought the moon a beautiful hat. That night, he put the hat up in a tree where the moon could find it. Then he slowly waited and watched while the moon slowly crept up through the branches and on and tried on the hat. Hooray, he yelled. It fits just right. You can see, I'll go back over here. The moon is rising into the sky because it's nighttime. It's getting closer to the hat. Almost there. And the moon is right above the hat, so it looks like he's wearing it. During the night, while Bear slept, the hat fell off out of the tree. In the morning, Bear found the hat on his doorsteps. So the moon got me a hat too, exclaimed Bear. He tried it on, and guess what? It fit perfectly. But just then, the wind blew Bear's hat off of his head. He chased after it. But it got away. That night, Bear paddled across the river, hiked through the forest to talk with the moon. For a long time, the moon would not speak to him, so Bear spoke first. Hello, he shouted. Hello, replied the moon. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said Bear. I lost the beautiful hat you gave me, said the moon. That's okay, I still love you, said Bear. That's okay, I still love you, said the moon.
Happy birthday, said the bear. Happy birthday, said the moon. The end. So, you can see that like the sun, I'll go back to one of the pages here. Uh, find the one that I want. You can see that the moon rises and goes across the sky just like the sun does and that it also has light. It's called moonlight. It's dark in the nighttime, but the moon does add a little bit of light, so that does help. Um, so the moonlight is just as important as the sun. It just is also a little bit different. So hopefully you like this book. Um, I love the Moon Bear book series. I've had this one for many years. I don't exactly remember where I got it, um, but you can search these on Amazon and usually you can find a copy that's not too expensive um, if you and your child end up really liking these books. It's a cute little series.